So we move on to example three and we want to find and classify all the critical points of this function. So as usual, to find the critical point, what you are going to do is to find the first order partial derivative of the function with respect to x and then y and then we set both of them to zero. So we have fx and that is equal to, we differentiate this term with respect to x and thus we have 6x squared. We differentiate x here, we have 1. So 1 times y squared, we have y squared plus we differentiate 5x squared with respect to x and then we have 10x we differentiate y squared and that goes to 0 now we move on to fy also for fy we differentiate 2x cubed that goes to 0 for this term we differentiate y squared with respect to y and then we have 2y so 2y times x that becomes 2xy and then we differentiate 5x squared with respect to y we have 0 we differentiate y squared and then we have 2y so we set each of them to 0 so 0 equals 6x squared plus y squared plus 10x so let's call this equation 1 and then also for the other one we have 0 equals 2xy plus 2y now you realize that here we have a common term which is 2y so we can factor out 2y inside of the bracket we have x plus 1 so we have 2y equals 0 and thus we divide through by 2 and then we have y to be equal to 0 and then again we have x plus 1 equals 0 we have x equals negative 1 so we have y equals 0 we have x equals negative 1 we are going to put these two values into equation 1 so for y equals 0 we want to find the values of x so we are going to have 0 that is from equation 1 0 equals 6x squared plus 0 square because y is 0 plus 10x now this becomes 0 equals 6x square plus 10x now here we have the common term to be 2x okay we have the common term to be 2x so we factor out 2x and then 6x squared divided by 2x that is going to be 3x plus 10x divided by 2x that is 5 so we have 2x equals 0 we divide through by 2 we have x to be equal to 0 again we have 3x plus 5 and that is equal to 0 we transpose 5 to the right hand side so that we have 3x equals negative 5 we divide through by 3 and thus we have x to be equal to negative 5 over 3 therefore what this means is that for y equals 0 we have the value of x to be 0 and then we have here also to be negative 5 over 3 therefore we have two points here that is the point or these are the point 0 0 and then negative 5 over 3 0 so these are the first two points now we are going to this time input negative 1 in place of x in this equation so we have for x equals negative 1 this time we are going to have 0 0 equals 6 times negative 1 square plus y square plus 10 times negative 1 so this becomes 0 equals this is 6 and then this is negative 10 so it becomes negative 4 so negative 4 plus y square we transpose this to the left hand side it becomes 4 so we have 4 equals y square and as we take the square root of both sides we have y equals 
plus or minus 2 or we can say y is equal to 2 y is equal to negative 2 so for x equals negative 1 we are going to have the point negative 1 2 and negative 1 negative 2 so at this point we have four different points that we need to classify so let's start with the classification process so for b that is where we want to classify i think i can even do that here so let me start from this point so considering the point zero zero so first of all first of all we need to find fxx so we consider we consider this function we differentiate again with respect to x so we differentiate 6x squared we have 12x we differentiate y squared with respect to x that goes to 0 we differentiate then x and then we have 10 we move on to fyy we are going to differentiate this with respect to y we differentiate y we have 1 so 1 times 2x that becomes 2x we differentiate 2y and then we have 2 and then fxy that is also equal to this same function we differentiate with respect to y so this goes to 0 this also goes to 0 and then we have 2y so this is 2y now considering this point we are going to find fxx of the point 0 0 and that will be equal to we have 12 times 0 plus 10 this becomes 0 so 0 plus 10 is 10 and then f y y of 0 0 that is also equal to 2 times 0 plus 2 that is also 2 and then f x y of 0 0 we have 2 y so 2 times 0 that is equal to 0 and then we try to find d now notice that d is equal to the product of these two values which is 10 times 2 minus the square of this value so 0 square so this becomes 20 this becomes 20 now we are interested in these two values at this point in time so since d is greater than is greater than 0 since d is greater than 0 and fxx is also greater than 0 because this is 10 then means that the point 0 0 is a relative a relative minimum point it is a relative minimum point and also a critical point a critical point so this is a relative minimum point and as well a critical point now let's move on to the next point which is negative 5 over 3 0 so notice that we have we have fxx now let's try to find fxx at the point negative 5 over 3 0 now this will be equal to we are going to have 12 times negative 5 over 3 plus 10 so this becomes 3 goes here once 3 goes here 4 times 4 times negative 5 that is negative 20 plus 10 so negative 10 and then we have f y y of negative 5 over 3 0 that is also equal to 2 times negative 5 over 3 plus 2 so here this becomes negative 10 over 3 plus 2 now because we have the denominator here to be 3 
then it gives us a clue on how to simplify or how to express 2. So we can express 2 as 6 over 3. So we have 6 over 3 and that is the same as 2. So we are going to add the numerator because we have a common denominator. So that becomes negative 4. So we have negative 4 over 3. And then for fxy of negative 5 over 3, 0, we have 2y. So that is 2 times 0, and that is equal to 0. Let's try to find the value of d. d is equal to, we multiply these two values. So this becomes a positive. So let's say we have negative 10 times negative 4 over 3, and then minus the square of this. So this is equal to a positive value, 40 over 3. So since, since D is greater than 0 and FXX is less than 0, it means that the point negative 5 over 3 zero is a relative relative maximum point and it is as well a critical a critical point now let's move on to the next point and that is the point negative one two so we move on to the point negative 1, 2. We want to find fxx at the point negative 1, 2. That will be equal to, we have 12 times x. x is negative 1 and then plus 10. That becomes negative 12 plus 10. So negative 2. And then f, fyy of negative 1, 2, that's also equal to 2 times x, that is negative 1, plus 2, and that is equal to 0. And then we move on to fxy of negative 1, 2, that is also equal to 2y. So 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. So we try to find the value of d. We multiply these two values, we have 0. So let's say negative 2 times 0 minus 4 square. So the term on the left, this goes to 0. 0 minus 16 is negative 16. So we have negative 16 here. Therefore, since D is less than 0, it follows that the point negative 1, 2 is a saddle point this is a saddle a saddle point also let's move on to the last one that is the point negative 1 negative 2 so negative 1 negative 2 so we also find fxx of negative 1 negative 2 that will be equal to 12 times x so negative 1 plus 10 that is equal to negative 2 we have f f y y of negative 1 negative 2 that's equal to 2 times x x is negative 1 and then plus 2 that also be equal to 0 we move on to f x y of negative 1, negative 2, and thus we have 2 times y. So 2 times negative 2, and this is equal to negative 4. And then we have d also to be equal to, we multiply these two values, we have 0 minus negative 4 square, that is negative 16. Here also, we have d to be less than 0. So since, 
since d is less than zero then the point negative one negative two is also a saddle point is also a saddle point so in summary we had four different points and out of these four points we have the first one the point zero zero to be a relative minimum point which is also a critical point we have the second point which is negative five over three zero being a relative maximum point which is also a critical point and then we have the last two being saddle points so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye